Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Second week of Future Stars starting today. 11 new Future Star items in packs, along with the three versions that we're getting a second card from the first team, right? Reyna will get a right mid, Reese James will get a CDM, and Dalo will get a right back card today on FIFA. So we'll have 14 Future Stars in packs today. Uh, so I want to talk about the content, the market movements. It's a normal promo Friday in that sort of sense. And also just kind of give you some like my feels on the market because with all the player picks, the amount of coins people have been draining into those and all the SBCs that have come out, it's almost like this market might be losing some of its buying power with all of that stuff that's been, you know, traded from tradable coins to untradable SBC content or player picks or whatever. Uh, since the market didn't really rise a lot on Thursday, that's giving me kind of the vibes that maybe either people didn't buy teams and they're waiting to do that until today on Friday, which and then we'll see a massive market rise tonight on Friday. A lot of those coins from Team of the Year are kind of getting sucked out of Ultimate Team, the People's Clubs, uh, and we're going to see some prices maybe dip off a little bit just because of, you know, less coins on the market. I think it's more of that second one than the first one. But Future Stars Team 2 is out today, of course. We have some big hopes for players that didn't get into Team 1 that could get into Team 2, right? Saka, um, Fatih, Bellingham. Um, you know, Graven Birch or Javi Simons, right? There's a lot of future stars out there that people want to have in their squads and they hope to see them today. One thing I will mention is uh, this webpage last Friday on the promo drop for future stars, it was like updated early. So this promo page actually went live like five minutes before the content drop. So there was this team was technically leaked right before 6 p.m. UK. So maybe that happens today again. Keep an eye out for that. Of course, one thing we're expecting 100% today is the return of Future Stars Academy. That should be one objective player. I don't know if they would drop two at one time. Maybe if they drop one, then they drop one later this week. Of course, uh, you're going to have your whole friendlies are going to get reset today. And all the objectives for the season are going to get reset today on Friday as well, since it is a brand new season. We'll be entering season four in FIFA 21. So that'll change some things around objective wise. We'll get new cards and those areas. We'll talk about that a bit too. But future stars related, we'll probably get one objective player today. Um, maybe like a pack objective as well. And then I'm still expecting one SBC. They've been doing, honestly, the, the content this, this promo has been decently solid right these 81 plus player picks have really carried the promo but the sbcs have been decent as well musa dembele not bad pedro goncalves eh, right not the best but not the worst just kind of there then you had the bruno g sbc that was out earlier this week um and you had i guess before the prom promo started is when rooney came out but you had brewster that was kind of an l for just the stat boost and the amount of coins they require for that card but the 85 plus SBCs have been kind of decent as well, just for fun. Uh, so this promo, we had a mid icon yesterday, of course, as well. This promo has been, it's been okay, right? It's been okay SBC content wise, a lot of coins drained off the market. I don't think that stops today. I think that continues today and especially tomorrow on Saturday with that French center back that we will be getting from EA Sports, right? Now we're going to talk about this in tomorrow's video again for sure, but don't forget that we have a French center back SBC coming most likely on Saturday. And uh, again, the meta right now seems to be kind of, you know, going towards that French nationality again with cards that were in this week's team of the week with that Moussa Dembele SBC. A lot of French links are kind of coming back uh, to life. So we'll be watching a lot of those this week as well on the market, especially with that SBC tomorrow. We'll be ready to make some market moves with that. But again, content wise today, SBC objective, that's almost a given, right? Maybe probably a, a pack uh, SBC objective as well. And I want to talk market, right? I want to talk market with you guys because that's what we do a lot here on the channel. These future stars players from team one, right? These guys, some of them aren't still as low as they were first day. Last week on a Friday, there were so many saved up packs that we were not anticipating that flooded these future stars cards right away on the market. Now this week, since these guys have been in packs, I know of some people that are saving packs, but I feel like unless EA messes with the pack weight again, I don't think there can be as many, right? Because we came out of a promo from Team of the Year into Future Stars. People had a week to save packs. Now, these special cards have been in packs. I don't really feel like as many people will be saving packs. 
And I don't think you'll see crazy, crazy drops in price during that first hour or so on the new Future Stars today. We'll have to see, of course. And these cards seem to be pretty packable compared to other promo cards. Of course, we're just coming out of Team of the Year where a lot of those guys are really, really hard to pack. But it seemed like these guys were popping up a lot last week on Friday. So, of course, today on Friday, we'll be looking at possible trading with these cards possible flipping scenarios you can see right like if these future stars they when people open rewards today barnes went from 400 to 355 back to 390 i bought a barnes today to try out on my team i bought them for 360 and just sold them a minute ago for 390,000 coins these guys do fluctuate around a lot but it seems like they get packed a lot and i think the second set's going to be the same way i'm just curious if today for the first hour or so if these cards get really cheap again, if there's really that many saved up packs right away, which I don't think there will be, but it could get interesting. And of course, EA messes with the pack weight. That could mess things up too. But Future Stars Team 1 cards, how will these guys react today? Now, of course, there could be guys from this team that get links to brand new cards in FIFA, right? Like we are guaranteed getting a right mid Reina tomorrow. How is that going to affect Dest? What happens if we get like a Trincao, right? A Trincao Portuguese right wing for Barcelona. That's probably going to make Dest go up. People are going to buy a card like that. What if we get another, you know, French that um, Cherokee, right? The five star, five star from Lyon, center attacking mid. What if we get a card that could possibly link to Kamavinga? Now, Kamavinga is a two point. Uh, 05 million coin card, so he's very expensive. I wouldn't expect a huge rise there, but we could see link in, um, investments or some of these new future stars from Team 2 today might link to a Team 1 player, which might, might make their price spike right away. But honestly, I feel like you might see a little panic selling on some of these future stars today because just like we saw panic selling with Team of the Years last week, there's probably going to be people that have these future stars in their team. And if EA goes all out with the team today with more big upgrades, more big name players, right? A lot of people are looking for Sokka, right? Sokka from Arsenal is who everybody wants to see in FIFA today. So many people have been asking me about that card. When's it coming? Is it going to come out? If a card like that comes today, you know, if big name players as well. There's, there's a ton of big name uh, future stars that could come out today. I still think you're going to see part of the market get sold off before 6 p.m. And honestly, a little bit after 6 p.m. Once people see the team, there's going to be cards that maybe drop a bit because people want to go out and try them. And especially if the objective player or the SBC player is really dope as well. You might see some market movements depending on where that player is positionally and uh, with his nation as well and what kind of void that he fills right i still feel like we need a serious center back ea sports serious center back a lot of them are extinct on the market because you've made Syria op with a lot of special cards we need a serious center back anyway um i think you will see these cards drop a little bit tonight but the ones that are meta the ones that are popular i think they will bounce back and i think they'll bounce back really really well late tonight on friday um I think you'll see a nice rise in them, right? Because it's still, if there's nobody that people want from the new team, if the new team isn't hype, then people who wanted cards from team one are going to go back out and buy those cards. And of course, these guys are out of packs, so they will not have any more supply. But even like the Steven Berg one right now is a million coins, which is, uh, this is definitely down for him, 997k. I think this is a card that still might do pretty well out of packs just because of his cracked out stats um, and, you know, just the links that he provides as well. Dutch links in the Prem. There's a lot of people who are still running Dutch cards, uh, links in their team. So I'm really, I really do think that Future Stars Team 1 should do nicely out of packs. Of course, you have guys like Reese James, Reyna, and Delo that are getting new cards today. And a lot of people are wondering, how is the new Reese James CDM card going to affect this right back card now here's what i'll tell you pace is king in fifa this reese james has 91 pace the next reese james coming today the cdm variant has 80 pace i don't feel like that this card will get hit too much in price because that other reese james is just not going to be on par with this one right i know he's a cdm i know it might help out with some squad building but 11 pace difference is massive right i think that reese james cdm card is probably going to be somewhere around like 300k honestly um and the only thing that i could really see making this right back card fall 
is another insane Premier League right back coming out into FIFA or a right back SBC or objective card. That's like the only thing that I would see dropping this James or if there's just massive panic on the market anyway. I feel like this is one of the most hyped up cards, the most OP meta cards that is in Future Stars Team 1. And I feel like that's gonna you know be represented in his price and his price rising out of packs. Kind of feels like Kyle Walker's in form 2.0 situation here almost uh, with the potential that this card has honestly from how good some people have said he is. So kind of keep that in mind today. I do think that Giovanni Reyna's card could get interesting as well uh, because he's getting a right mid card today. But what if EA goes out and says, hey, we're going to upgrade this Gio Reyna, the right mid that comes out. What if we give him a five-star skills? That could make the right mid card a bit more interesting and make this center attacking mid reina maybe sold off a little bit but this guy doesn't have glowing reviews anyway so that's kind of interesting but that's kind of the most curious market movements i'm expecting for the future stars today kind of talking through some of those things and then remember last week right we were watching alan st maxman on stream last week on friday this guy was 1.2 million coins in the morning yesterday he's 1.25 right now i'm telling you this guy's probably going to be like 1.15 tomorrow if there is panic selling which i think there could be before or even right during the content drop you're really really meta cards that are out of pack specials today I want you to keep an eye on them. I really do. I want you to keep an eye on those cards, and we'll scroll through a couple right now. You know, some of your headliner cards, some of your cards from last week's Team of the Week, even Team of the Year cards, right? Um, you know, Bruno, 4.2. These guys don't move around a ton now. It's kind of like they're stagnant-ish. But Alexander Arnold dropped off a lot last week because of, uh, of Reese James, right? Maybe there's a card this week from Team of the Year that takes a bit of a hit because of somebody who comes out. You know, Neuer was like 455 at his lowest. He's actually up a bit right now. Watch for panic selling on those cards. Your headliners, Teo Hernandez was a big sell-off last week. He had a big time sell-off. He's up to 920K. I mean, if that's in the low 800s, I'm interested for sure. You know, some of these French center backs as well and of the French links, uh, Goretzka, 616, that's kind of low. Holland, 520, that's kind of low with possibly more Dortmund players coming out today. If Gio Reyna does get five-star skills, maybe there's more desire to link a Holland to a, the new right mid Gio Reyna, right? You know, your road to the final cards as well. We keep talking about these. Rebic, 201, if there's panic selling on any of these cards today, definitely keep an eye on it, right? Keep an eye on the panic selling across the market, especially stuff that people are going to want to invest in and put in their teams and that is very meta that people will be buying back right that's the stuff you want to keep your eye on today for sure this hazard 170 he was just like 185 so that's even a little bit low uh you're gonna see sell-off for sure today i think there's a 100 percent chance of sell-off i wasn't so sure of it last week uh but today i think that i am 170 for hazard that's just sitting there maybe 180 was like way too high i'm not sure 180 might have been way too high for Thorgan Hazard. That's why that one was sitting there. But anyways, um, yeah, I think you will see some sell-off today. Now, let's talk about other areas of the market, right? Icons. We always talk about icons being a staple on Fridays. I think that's not going to change today. Right now, the icon index is at 88 points. We were at 86 points during weekly league rewards. I would not be surprised if this icon index goes all the way down to about 85 points today around the content drop, maybe dips a bit lower and then rebounds back up to 88, 89, right? You're going to see a little bit of selling on icons today, but also a big rebound. Um, you know, some people might be expecting icon moments, but still, since we haven't seen anything added to the code, I don't think that's coming out. I don't think icon swaps are coming out. So that's part of that situation right there. Those are going to be great to flip with, to trade with, um, you know, on the icon 59th basic chem style with people that are opening lightning rounds. You will see some of that. Speaking of lightning rounds, SBC fodder, right? Some of these SBC fodder cards got hit a little bit during rewards yesterday and they are down some, but some stuff is still very, very expensive. Last week, O Block is 80K, man. Wow. O Block last week, I remember, I think I bought one for an SBC to finish Bruno and he was like 70K flat or like under 70 or something like that. So all I'd say is watch SBC fodder of all ranges today because regardless I think there's a lot of packs that are going to be opened and the pack weight last week was just really really good in general people are packing walkouts they're packing boards and if it's been any notice to how the um, player picks have been this week as well if the, if the pack weight is like it was last week I think you will see SBC fodder dropping and you know not a huge amount 
but dropping a little bit during lightning rounds. And that could be a situation where if you like to trade with fodder and need to get some cards in your club, you could go ahead and do that there. But you know, today in, in total, um, actually, you know what? One thing I want to touch on really quick is the objective card. Because whatever objective card comes out today, there's going to be a lot of hype around it. Because EA, they did pretty good last year with Odegaard. People love that ability to grind through multiple players. People love objectives in FIFA. And they love especially objectives this year. Watch the link investments to that objective card. Obviously, you've seen a lot of the Serie A hype recently. A lot of like left wing insignia went up a bunch because of this Tonali objective card, right? Watch out for links to that objective card right away because if it's a meta card, if it's a card that a lot of people might want to put in their teams, those links will rise uh, throughout the weekend. They'll dip a little bit as the weekend link sell-off happens. And then some of them, if they're not over-invested, will continue to rise into the next week if that um, if that objective is something that a lot of people want to do. So that's one thing that I do think you can keep an eye out for today uh, on FIFA with Future Stars team number two. So in general, right, it's a normal promo Friday in the sense that we're getting more promo cards and packs. We're getting more lightning rounds. There's going to be supply. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is, you know, we talked about it last week with, with the team of the week, right? Last week, the team of the week was at its cheapest on Saturday, we might have another similar scenario with that. And this week's Team of the Week has more cards that I would be interested in with a fluctuation. Um, this is Varane, this Kimpembe, this is Sterling, Depay even. there's uh, This is a pretty solid Team of the Week with cards that really can link a lot of players and a lot of desirable players. Even this Morales is good. Diaby is pretty good. Luke Shaw is a Premier League left back. Like if this guy is 20,000 coins today, buy one, put it in your club because he is GGMU. He is English, he's a left back in the Prem, and there's not too many of those, right? So definitely keep a watch out for some of this week's team of the week. Varane, especially for some, you know, supply, those prices dipping down during lightning rounds and then bouncing back afterwards. And of course, just being low for an out of packs investment as usual on some of those cards. But I think we were expecting kind of a big Friday today with the new season objectives, possibly with icon swaps and stuff like that. And I think. EA just wants us to focus on the Future Stars promo right now. I think that's really what they want us to focus on and not really anything else. So I don't think we're going to get those swaps and those icon moments today, especially since nothing's been added to the code, unless EA does a madness after I've been uploading this video and like puts out a bunch of content and all of a sudden just, just drops a bunch on Friday. But I don't see that happening. Uh, but there will be new season objective players today. So this is like your very last chance to get that Pulisic, Emerson, or Playa if you want one of those. And... Um, you know, maybe some new objectives coming out today along those lines. Icon swaps will be over the set one uh, and we'll be eagerly awaiting set number two. So it's kind of a normal pro promo Friday in a sense that new cards are coming out today. Again, I do want to iterate this. I feel like you will see panic selling because these future stars cards, people just want to try them because they're so interesting. They're so cool. You're going to see some link investments go up today. You're going to see some cards move around because they link to new future stars. You're going to see prices on the market drop a little bit because people will sell items because of new future stars coming in. I think of like Hyunmin Sun's headliner last week. He was down about 30, like 50,000 coins actually, which he's still kind of lower, partially because of that Bergwijn coming in as another left mid position change card or not position change, but a left mid a promo card from Spurs with very similar stats to this Sun, even better stats in terms of physical. So you might see some substitute investments take place today on the market. But just remember, right, promo cards day one are king. People are always going after those. Links to the SBCs and objectives could do very well. And your normal meta cards will rebound, especially icons, baby icons out of packs, but all of them in general. So another promo Friday, another chance for E to drop some cool content. I hope they do, especially objective wise. That'd be really dope. And I do think you'll see a market rise tonight on Friday, but I want you to get, I want you guys to get involved and get interested in parts of the market that gets sold off that are meta because those are the ones where you're going to have your best return on investment, not just a little bit of the market that drops off. That's just, you know, a drop off. Make sure that it's meta. Make sure that it's a rare card. These team of the year honorable mentions are fantastic to trade with. They're very rare and you will see some bounces, bounce backs on the market tonight for sure. Also be a little bit aware of over investing. We'll talk about man of the match cards tomorrow. I know I didn't talk about them today, but we'll see what comes out Friday night into Saturday for Man of the Match cards. We could get some cool ones. 
and we'll talk about that situation as well then. So that's the video today, boys. Future Stars 2 is here. Hope you're hyped. If you're hyped, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below if you have any questions. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you later. Peace out.